Hi, today I am going to make some medium orchids. Really very pretty orchids. Materials required are grey paper and white, green floral tape, thin wire or thick wire, sketch uh, colour pen in yellow and pink, crayons in pink and yellow and a pink colored pencil, some cotton wool and some tissue paper. All the stencils with measurements are at the end of the video. Cut a piece from the thin wire about 18 centimeters long and then take some cotton wool, very little not too much. Take the wire and apply glue on one end a little bit and take this wool and make kind of a ball on top like this then take the piece for the center stretch it apply glue and put it on top of the pool and just pull down all the sides and then twist the ends so you get a shape like this Take a piece of the tissue paper, not too long, just about the same length as the wire and then fold it in half, half again, apply glue on it and wind it from the base of this center, covering a little bit on it also till the end of the wire like this Take the pink colored pen and just color the top of this uh, wire, half of it in pink, leaving a little bit on the tip. So first just draw a kind of a line and then fill it with color. Fill in the color and the creases also, so it becomes nice and uniform. Like so. Then take the yellow colored pen and color the other half in the same way as we did for the pink. And leave a tip again. Like this. So you have half of it in yellow and half of it in pink. Then take the pink pen again and just put dots on the yellow portion at random. Like so. Take petal A and take the pink crayon first just color the base of the petal like 
like this then very lightly just color the lower side very lightly and then with a firm hand color the top part just on the border covering about half a centimeter slightly less than that actually like this then take the yellow crayon and color it in blending with the pink and the top portion also just leave a little white here don't color it entirely the rest of it should be a nice bright yellow so do it with a hard hand like so then take the pink pencil first just you know put strokes on the lower side so it becomes darker also and then put dots at random on the sides maybe a few in the yellow area like this and then just give you know strokes like this I'll use another pen because this one seems to have finished and then here also give strokes a few dots and draw a line in the same way like strokes in the center so this is what it will look like now we'll shape the petal so hold it in your hand like this and put your thumbs in the center and just stretch very hard the paper but not so hard that you tear it so you get a hollow like this and then give crimps on the edge so just stretch the paper between your fingernails get a ruffled effect and the wings these are the wings so just push them up like this so put your thumb like this and push up the paper so it will curve like this similarly on this side so you get a shape like this now apply glue on the stem take this stem that we prepared now first bend the pink portion so it becomes like this and then stick this below it you have to make sure that this reaches almost midpoint of the petal just hold it like this apply a little more glue here and then just stick it and while you're sticking it just push down the petal so it becomes like this it's not touching the base of the petal you have to hold it for a little while till it sticks
like so. Now take a bit of green tape, just a small piece, stretch it and wind it on this. Like so. Take petal B and of the pink colored pencil. First, very with a very light hand, just draw a line in the center and a couple next to it of uneven height. Then just color the edge, three fourth of the edge, a slightly darker tone on both sides like this then just color the or oh sorry the curl the petal just curl it then crimp the edge the lower portion also if you can like this then just stretch the upper portion pushing it towards you and the lower portion away from you so it becomes like this then just fold the petal over and give a sharp crease in the center open it and hold it like this for a second so that it takes its shape and this is how it will look I have already done it with the other petal also now take the petal apply glue on the base and then on the center just stick it in such a way you know on the stem so it's slightly at an angle like this it's not exactly straight it's and hold it down till it sticks well And it should bend forward a bit, you know, it should not be absolutely straight, it should be towards this, like so. Then take the second petal, and stick it in the same way, forming a V. Open out the V while holding the base. We don't want it too close to each other. Let's hold it for a second. So this is what it looks like. Take sepal A and again with the pink pencil, pink color pencil, first just draw a line in the center. This would be slightly darker than the petals and more lines on the rest of the sepal and again give a border covering about three fourth the other side also like so and in the same way as the petal first curl it Trim the edge then push the middle portion towards you upper middle portion on the lower side away from you fold the sepal 
give a hard crease and then hold it like this to give that shape so I've already done it with the other sepal now take the sepal apply glue on the stem and stick this below the petal you know almost horizontal position so you have to stick it you know the stem would come like this on the petal and you have to hold it like this so that you know this part also sticks so it takes its shape otherwise it will just flap open so just hold it meanwhile take the other sepal apply glue in the same opposite to this so I'm just sticking it like this and holding it So this is how it will look. Take sepal B, the bigger, biggest sepal and again in the same way draw lines on it. Slightly more than the previous sepals. And color the edge. like so now this I'm not going to curl the whole thing just the top part and then again crimp it like this then very slightly stretch it in the center not too much just very slightly and again very slightly on the lower side so it just has a very slight curve like so so now take the sepal apply glue and stick it on top of the sepals should come in this kind of a position you have to press it down a bit from here so this is how the orchid would look now take the green tape Stretch it and wind it from on top of the second petal sepal going under till the end of the wire so this is how the orchid would look after I finished it now I'm going to assemble the whole thing take some tissue paper fold it and then just cut it in the center open this out 
fold it in half. Apply glue on it. And wind it on this thick wire. So this is how it will look. Take a long piece of the green floral tape. Stretch it. Take the thick wire and take any flower, hold it on top and hold about 2 inches next to the stem because this is slightly heavy flower otherwise it will droop and then start winding the tape. Then take another fluff and they'll all be facing you know in the same direction so put it next to the first one and attach the third one and so on. So I'll attach the rest also. So this is how it looks. You can attach more flowers. You know, this has about 20 to 30 flowers on a stem. So that depends on you. So just turn it around. It should be facing you, basically. Like so and then give the stem a little curl just bend it on one side like this so this is how the orchid would look all the measurements are in centimeter this is the stencil for the center this is 3.5 centimeters high and 2.5 centimeters wide. Cut one piece per flower. This is of petal A. This is 6.5 centimeters high and the lower side is 4 centimeters wide and the upper side is 2.75 centimeters wide. The stem is 1.5 by 1 centimeter. Cut one piece per flower. Then this is of petal B. This is 9 centimeters high and 3.25 centimeters wide. The stem is 1.5 by 1.25. Cut two pieces of this. Then this is of sepal A. This is 8.5 centimeters high and 4.25 centimeters wide. The stem is 1.25 by 1.25 centimeters. Cut two pieces. And this is of sepal C. This is 9.5 centimeters high and 4.5 centimeters wide. The stem is 1.5 by 1.5 centimeters. Cut one piece per flower. 